Hello everyone. Welcome back to Cybertic. In this video, we are going to take a look and understand the amazing latest feature of the Bub Suite that is Bamdas, where we will see how we can use it in our day-to-day -day bug bounty journey and understand how we can create our own Bamdas. If you are new, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So let's start with our the today's topic that is uh, what do we mean by BAMDAS. So BAMDAS is the latest feature of the Bub Suite, which is a really amazing thing. So let's just deep dive into that first and then I will explain to you how we can use it and what does it mean. So BAMDA basically it's a function lambda functions but BAMDA means like Bub Suite's lambda functions kind of thing. So it's just a name. So let me just first of all intercept the traffic. I am taking the demo website that is test php valen web for now and then we can see in the http history that few of the traffics are still coming on right so let me just refresh it and also refresh the google so we can get multiple traffics also so let's just uh, get few more requests and then we can see in the proxy settings we have a bamda functions over here so in the filter one bamda mode so what does it mean right the main topic of it so first of all bamda exposes some of the core behind the scenes functionality of the bub suite for the very first time it's enable you to write custom filters for the proxy http history to help you to get the grips with the unique potentials of this functionality so let me explain you like how it is being used so suppose you can use many kind of extensions which we have in the bub suit extension tab right but it might be really hard to get those extensions like suppose uh, if i wanted to find or uh, list the vulnerable parameters which are in the http history how you can find it because there is no kind of any kind of extension you have to write it manually but with the help of bamda functions you can write it easily so first of all uh, let me just introduce you with the first example that is the finding the request with specific cookie value so i already have uh, listed that particular bamda function so i will just explain you but before that you can see the boolean matches this is the proxy http request response it is a method and then we are assigning a variable request response so and returning true if i apply for it you will get a normal http history but let me change it out to the given functions so if request response dot request has the parameter f o double o let's suppose in the cookie if we have a foo value then it will show you the that particular cookie and return the cookie value it has the 1337 just this is just for an example if i apply it you can see that there is no response or any kind of http history contains a, uh, any kind of cookie value right so this is how it works so basically you can say that it's a filter mode kind of thing of the bamda functions and also one more you are comfortable with the basics of the how bamda works there are few tricks you might want to utilize to help you out even more value from the functionality if you are using something a lot and want to save yourself some time you can assign it to a variable so let me explain you so suppose if i want to use a list of vulnerable parameters from the owsp top 25 so i will use some of the bambra functions which i already have so let me share it with you so i'm adding it so what does it mean that uh, i'm just making an array with different parameters that is for the ssr parameters sqli parameters xss and many other vulnerabilities which mostly vulnerable for these parameters okay and after that there is a logic if request dot uh, request response dot request has this particular url then perform these kind of uh, vulnerabilities or you can filter out with our http history so let me apply those so you can see it shows that uh, this google.com has this particular endpoints which i had made it right so over here there is a one particular parameter art as equal to which might be 
vulnerable for xss attack also so with the help of bumblas so we can do this much of things so i hope you understand how we can use this bamda functions and you even you can use the extension also but you can try out the new latest feature of the bub suite that is bamda one so coming to this particular code i will share you one github repository you can check it in my our description so you can access those bamda modes and how we can use it so let's get handy with this new feature of the bamda so thanks for the bub suite so i hope you understand how to use bub suite's latest feature that is bamda for the beginner it will be little difficult to understand the working of it but don't worry you can ask your doubts in our telegram community channel link will be given in description so you can access it if you are script kiddy and have your own bamdas you can share with us so you can get a shout out in our next videos so that's all for this video please like and subscribe to our youtube channel till that time goodbye and jai hind